If we have two processes that we want to communicate over our network, we can use TCP for that and we will specify server's IP address and port. We can do the same on a single machine, but in this case, we will use loopback address instead of server's IP address. But actually, we can do the same using Unix domain socket. Unix domain socket provides similar communication interface as TCP, but since it was made for inter-process communication on a single machine, it doesn't have network-related overheads. But how similar is it? For example, we can make this Node.js TCP server to use Unix domain socket just by changing the TCP port number with file path of Unix socket file we want to use. We will do the same for client and we are good to go. It works. And just like TCP, the socket here can have multiple client connected simultaneously. Each Unix domain socket communicates through these socket files instead of IP address and TCP port. So we don't have to worry about running out of TCP ports or accidentally expose the connection to public network. Also, socket files are different from regular files. While regular files store the data on physical drives, on Unix socket file, all read and write will be done entirely in memory. Unix domain socket is so good that it's even supported on non-unix system like windows but is it really used in real life you can find unix socket files on your machine using find command with type option set to s for example these programs use unix domain socket to allow another processes to communicate with them although docker is a bit unique here because it's not just using unix domain socket but it also run http on top of it we will discuss it in the next video make sure you hit the subscribe button thank you for watching and see you